Today we are saying stop the attack on ethnic studies. Stop the attack in our immigrant communities. It is a sick come on. Uh, I came in the Undaka bus uh, one week ago. Uh, and that is because we want to make clear that the authorities of the United States are lying about our community. Obama, escucha! Obama, escucha! I'm an immigrant without documents with 18 years here in the United States and I'm working, I'm paying my taxes, I got my home and I, I grew up with my family here so that's why I'm fighting for the rights of immigrants. My name is Giovanni Diaz, I'm coming from Atlanta, Georgia and I'm marching with the Undocubus, a, um, a campaign that's pro-immigrant rights that started from Phoenix in July 27 and it's going to end here at the convention. I'm undocumented and my family status is mixed status, which is really troublesome. And we're marching from people from all over the state who are undocumented, youth, uh, workers, and people who believe in justice. I realized I was undocumented um, my senior year in high school when I was getting ready to um, apply to college, and so I had to like change a lot of my a lot of my expectations about um, higher education and um, you know identification and things like that. And then um, the summer after high school, uh, my family and I were put into removal proceedings, and so for the past six years we've been pushing back against that. You don't necessarily have to like you know be arrested at the border; like you could just be going to school and you know stop at a stop sign or you could be doing something and looking at your everyday life that still very much puts you at risk. Um, so it kind of goes back to the idea that all of us are at risk um, of deportation and detention at any given time, regardless of how under the radar you try to be, regardless of how safe you attempt to play it, like there's still always that danger. So the idea of having no papers and no fear is really important. Um, first, because we um, have come to a, a consensus, I guess, um, that the, the more out you are as undocumented, the safer you are. Um, partly because um, it's really easy within the detention system to disappear if nobody knows who you are or what your story is. Um, it's, you know, they, they do raids or uh, pick people up like early in the morning when nobody's looking, essentially. Um, so if something were to happen to you and nobody would know, it's really easy for you to disappear into a system and quickly be deported. Um, versus if people know your story, there's a community behind you, like, ready to support you. And, and so the more visible you are, the more protection that you inherently have. And I think the other has been pushing back against this idea of being in the shadows, so to speak, um, and have it be kind of like, a, almost like a victimizing of our, of our stories and our experiences. Um, whereas it's not, it's not the lack of having papers that should make us shameful, um, rather us recognizing that it's a really system systematic problem of various issues um, that leads us not having papers to begin with. An immigration reform means a paper for everyone, that means no more deportation, that means works opportunities. The most important thing for the next election is that the authorities, as is Obama, can make, a, make true the promise that they gave it to us four years ago. And they say that they are going to make, that he is going to make an immigration reform in the first years, and he didn't do it.